Okay, to get started, I'm going to make a rub. Here I have one teaspoon of granulated garlic powder, one teaspoon of granulated onion powder, one teaspoon of salt-free lemon pepper, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. If you do not have smoked paprika, you could use regular, but the smoked paprika will give it a nice smoky flavor. And I'm also going to use one teaspoon of salt. Next, I will be using a little over two and a half pounds of chicken legs. This recipe is good for between two and a half to three pounds of chicken. Now, here I have it sitting in a bowl and I'm going to allow it to set on the counter until I need it to allow the chill off of the chicken. I don't want to bake cold chicken. This will ensure that it bakes evenly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is combine all of the dry spices and make this rub. And again, if you find that you want it to be a little saltier, you can adjust the salt level. If you want more of another flavor, just adjust it to your preference. Now that everything is in the bowl, I'm just going to give it a good mix and the rub is ready. By the way, be sure to check the description below this video for all of the ingredients and measurements used in this recipe. Okay, so now that this is mixed, I'm going to season my chicken, but first I do want to reserve some for my barbecue sauce that I will be making here in a minute. So I am going to reserve around a teaspoon and a half. Again, you can adjust what you want to use in the barbecue sauce or put on your chicken. But I think right around a teaspoon and a half will go good in the ratio of ingredients for the barbecue sauce. So once I've reserved that, I'm going to set it aside. And now I'm just going to start seasoning my chicken. Okay, so while I'm seasoning my chicken, I just wanted to add, if you don't have any of the ingredients to make your own rub for this, you definitely can use your favorite barbecue or chicken rub, even a brisket rub. Those normally work with flavoring barbecued meats. So if you want to use your favorite rub, maybe use around two teaspoons to season the chicken and then have some to put in your barbecue sauce because the flavor profile will almost be the same. So that's just out of convenience if you want to use what you already have at home. Okay, so now I'm just going to arrange my chicken on a baking sheet and I'm going to try my darndest to make sure I can fit all of it in one pan. And I think I can, but typically you don't want to overcrowd the pan because you do want the skin to crisp up and you want a more even cook time. Now, I am going to give you some variables that might change the cook time. If you are working with super cold chicken, or maybe the chicken is not completely thawed, this will definitely change the cook time. I'm going to be cooking my chicken legs in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to cook them for somewhere between 45 to 50 minutes. Again, this Cook time may vary depending on how thick or big your chicken legs are. Also, again, if it still has a chill on it or it's not completely thawed. So those are variables that will change the cook time. So make sure you adjust the cook time accordingly. So I've basically used all of the rest of my seasoning and I'm putting it right into the oven. Again, I'm going to be roasting these for around 45 minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to work on my barbecue sauce. Here I have one cup of ketchup. Next, I'm going to be using one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm actually using a dark soy sauce, but regular works fine. I'm also going to be using one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And if you're looking at my vinegar and going, why is it so cloudy? It has that mother that kind of grows in an organic apple cider vinegar. I'm also going to be using a quarter cup of honey. And here is the reserved chicken rub or the rub that I made earlier. This is a teaspoon and a half. 
So all I'm going to do is combine all of these ingredients in a nonstick pan. And I've already lightly greased it because I don't want anything to really burn. There's a lot of sugar going in this pan. I don't want it to burn. And I am working with a low heat. I just want it to come up to a simmer for a minute or so and I'll turn it off the heat. So while I'm adding all of the ingredients to this pan, I do want to throw out some substitutions. For example, if you do not have apple cider vinegar, you could use mustard or you could use lemon juice and maybe use around the same amount. And if you don't have soy sauce or you don't want to use soy sauce, you can simply add a little extra salt. You could also use Worcestershire sauce. And again, another substitution for the honey could be brown sugar. Maybe start with two or three tablespoons and adjust the ratio of ingredients to your taste. And definitely when making a barbecue sauce or with any type of sauce or seasonings, you adjust it to your taste. You might find that one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar might have too much of a tangy sour punch. So maybe use half that and work your way up. Okay, so once you've found your happy ratio of ingredients and taste and preference to this sauce, you'll want to mix everything and bring it up to a gentle simmer. And then once it starts simmering, let it simmer for around a minute and then just turn it off and set it aside until you're ready to use it. Okay, so it has been 45 minutes and my chicken is done. And again, I want to stress, it might take you longer to roast your chicken, sometimes an hour, just depending on certain variables. So at this point, you have a perfectly roasted chicken leg. You can have dinner, but if you want it to be a barbecue sauce chicken leg, go right ahead and start basting it with that barbecue sauce. You can do it lightly, or you can lay it on thick. Do what you like, and there is extra. We like to use the extra barbecue sauce to dunk it as we take bites out of it, I know. But it's so delicious. So once I baste all of my chicken legs with this barbecue sauce, I am going to put it right into the broiler for around five to 10 minutes. I actually have a high setting, so no more than five, but I just want to let the barbecue sauce set, get thick and glazed and even char. And this, is a delicious barbecue chicken leg. It has that charring, the sauce has set, it's thick, and it's so delicious. Be sure to check the description below for the ingredients and measurements used for this delicious oven-baked barbecue chicken. Now, I am going to take a bite and enjoy dinner. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.